What do you think the highest mileage C8 is worth? I took delivery of my 2023 LT Corvette mid-March of 2020. I've done everything I possibly could to drive this car. I've been to Texas, I've been to Oklahoma, I've been to Florida, I've been to the North Carolina, South Carolina. I've been everywhere up and down the East Coast and I love driving this thing. But what is it worth? So we're gonna head over to CarMax here in Bradenton, Florida and we're gonna find out what CarMax will give us for this car. So we're gonna find out what their appraisal process is on a car that's not readily available. And of course, you guys know this has got every single option on it and a few mods, and we're just gonna leave it the way it is. Maybe they'll like the wrap, maybe they won't. And speaking of wraps, don't forget exclusive limited time merch, Chevy Dude wrap hoodie right here. It's on ChevyDudeStore.com. Get yours now because once they're sold out, they're sold out forever. So just to remind you guys, we've got a nitrous bottle in the front. Yes, Nitrous Express hooked us up with a 10 pound nitrous system. We have the custom wrap designed by Skeppel and installed by my boys CKL Wraps here in Louisville, Kentucky. We've got the C8R wing by Victor Racing. And of course, oh my goodness gracious, the Soul Performance Exhaust. I absolutely love this. We got the Sport Cats on here, which most people are gonna do. And then I did the, uh, what I like to call their muffler delete system. So let's head over to CarMax, but first let's get a cold start on the Soul Performance Exhaust. All right, so we have officially 21,423 miles on the car. We are at CarMax. So we're going to run in and see what they give us for the highest mileage Corvette mid-engine in the country. What do, you, what do you think their offer is going to be? Ooh, man, I think, I think they're going to lowball you. You think so? Yeah. All right, well, let's go find out. So we had a file corrupt, so I have to record this portion at home. So unfortunately, it was a really good spot there at uh, CarMax. But uh, at this point, I walked into the building. My camera is not on. I'm just holding it, right? I'm assuming someone's going to get in my car and take it for a test drive. Well, I didn't know that they weren't doing test drives because of COVID. Uh, so Karen, the manager, uh, I ran into a Karen. Uh, she basically was telling me very rudely and very to matter of fact to the point, you can't record in here. I'm like, okay, I wasn't planning on recording in here. Um, I was just gonna kind of like be outside or whatever the case may be. And she says, you can't even record our appraisal process. You can't take pictures of our guy. I said, okay, no problem. I I, I won't, You, I, we don't want that camera on our property. I said, okay, it's not an issue. Well, let's go to the property next door. He's like, hey, I need you to pop the hood. I'm like, okay, no problem. And he starts walking up there. And I'm like, is it because you wanna see the engine? He says, yeah. I said, well, the engine's in the back. And I think he still took one more step. We'll have to put it in the camera. I think he took one more step forward. He's like, in the back? And uh, so that's why I opened up the back for him. <laughs> this guy was like, what kind of car is that? I don't know if you got any of that on camera. I'm <laughs> like shaking, like, Oh my because God, is, I'm the cold. Is, is the, are you gonna be a shaky camera? If you're gonna be yes. shaky, I'll have to get somebody else. You need to get somebody else. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. What's your number? What happens if I'm right? I don't know. What happens if you're right? I mean, if you're right, you're just gonna brag. And if I'm right, you know I'm gonna harass you like crazy. <laughs> because who's in the business? <laughs> All right, so we drove down the road to the Sarasota airport here because I love aviation because we wanna tell you guys how much this car is worth based off of CarMix appraisal since we couldn't record on their property. Do you wanna do the honors? Yes. But what do I get if I win? To buy me dinner. No, that's, that's not for me. What benefit do I get? to buy me dinner. That's not my benefit. You already overspent last night's dinner. <laughs> it's a lose, lose situation for you. Oh, come on, I and always lose. No, you got me. <laughs> All right, so what do you win if you're right? Oh, Model X. come on. Why is there gotta be a Model X at the airport? Don't look. Okay. Show them first. Oh. Don't squeeze it. I still gotta be taking a thumbnail with it. <laughs> Gosh, lady. Ready? Ready, go. Boom. What do, you, what do you think their offer is going to be? 60. 60? Guess what? What? 
I was right. I was right. I, was right. <laughs> I know the business better than you. Oh, uh, now come on, that's not fair. It's not fair because I don't think they were really enthusiastic about appraising the trade because they were really rude when they saw that I had a camera. Not to mention that maybe I didn't want to put my several thousand dollar camera just in the car that anybody could get to it that I was going to get access to my car. Let's not think about that. But they probably see other YouTubers do it. And this lady, this Karen, she just didn't like me. I don't, I don't get it. So they didn't ask what type of equipment's in my car. They had their general, um, basic, like, does it have this, 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 yes. And then you weren't in there, but when I went in to get the appraisal, um, they said, okay, well, your car's got this. Is there anything that we left off? And I said, yes, there's quite a bit. Magnetic ride control, Z51, 3LT, uh, front lift system, carbon fiber uh, top. You know, they can't even see the top because it's wrapped. Uh, the Trident wheels are an upgraded wheel, you know? All this stuff they didn't ask. So I think this is a, an extremely low ball offer. So to do justice, I'm gonna go get it appraised two more times. Well, sad to report, we are back in Kentucky. You can see snow. Um, we, we don't like this. I don't like snow. I need some palm trees, beach, and whatnot. And uh, so come in here, check this out. Yes, we have a used 2020 Corvette here on the showroom floor that is currently available for sale at the time of shooting this video. 99980 is the price on this car. This is a 3LT. I'll link it down in the description of what this all has on it. This is a used car with 600 miles. And yes, I know some of you are probably gonna be triggered that this is well over MSRP. Yes, that is true. It is gonna be sold over for over MSRP. I don't know what the original MSRP was because we didn't sell it and the customer did not trade it in with the window sticker. So it just goes into bearing that the market conditions dictate the price of the car, especially even more so on a used car. So um, we just have to do with what we can do. We needed the deal that they traded this in on. We obviously need to sell it for a profit. We're not gonna like rip someone's head off or anything like that. But uh, the fact of it is, is we don't dictate the market, the market dictates the market. So um, yes, yeah, being sold over MSRP, but it is what it is. All right, so let's go to Carvana where they tell you that they give you a real offer in two minutes. And as you guys know, I have sold a car to Carvana because I wanted to see how the process worked and they overpaid way too much for the car. And whoever bought that car, which was down in Fort Hood, Texas, because I tracked the car, uh, they way overpaid for that car as well. Uh, but let's see what they let's see what they do. And they make it really nice that you can um, actually just put in your license plate and uh, they pull everything back that way but do they really pull everything because as you know when we were at carmax that they didn't have all the facts on our car so we'll type in our zip code next so let's go to vehicle features okay so we'll do premium wheels navigation system premium sound 3lt z51 carbon fiber oh we don't have dual roof package colored key dual roof package removal carbon fiber dual roof I'm gonna click carbon fiber dual roof package on this one because that carbon fiber is uh, an update or upgrade. Uh, does your vehicle have any issues? Nope, we're gonna say no on modifications just so that they don't, their algorithms don't stop anything. Um, no smoking, pretty great condition. Got two keys, no lien or lease on it. And we're gonna type in my fake email address. All right, so here it comes. Let's see what happens. What's gonna happen? It's it's clocking. And thanks for submitting your appraisal. Your car stumped our algorithm, but our customer advocates are working on your value now. Please provide a contact information below, and we'll email you as soon as your value is ready. Ah, so algorithm doesn't work. So I guess I don't really get a real value in two minutes. So uh, let's go find out what my dealership would give me for trade on the vehicle and uh, we'll see how it compares to CarMax. So on a Friday at 3.30, when you decide that you just wanna take a spontaneous trip to Florida for a couple of days and just blow off everything in the world, um, you come back on Tuesday and find out that everything is uh, so busy and I shouldn't have done that, but the day just got away from me. And so I tried to uh, get our used car manager to give me a value on the car and that turned into a big ordeal. I don't know what that was all about, that I don't have any warranty on my car, which is not true. So we're not even gonna get into that. So he didn't give me a value on my car. And, but with the research that I've done, um, there's there's a website called Ove, ove.com. And that's where dealerships can list cars 
for sale at auction, right? So it's an auction only website that dealers can buy. And there's like 28 on that website. And then there's a few more that I saw at other auction houses across the country. And there's about 37 of those available. And uh, auction, auction, these are wholesale prices. Every single one of them are $100,000. It's absolutely insane on this car. But Carvana never got back to me. Uh, I tried to call them, never got a response from them. I did their online chat. I never did a response to them. And uh, it just kind of shows that wholesale, they're saying 60,000 in my car, which I think is way off. But uh, with that being said, they're just scared of the car because uh, they saw it. And I really shouldn't have told CarMax that I put nitrous in it because he never looked in the front trunk. And I bet, and I bet if I wouldn't have told him that, that their offsite uh, evaluators wouldn't have been scared of my car.